What's up dudes? Today we're going to review the Apollo City Pro electric scooter. It has dual 500 watt motors, full suspension, and a 48 volt 18 amp hour battery pack. Claims it can do 32 miles an hour and about 40 miles of range. Costs about 1700 bucks. So let's unbox it, take a look at everything up close, and then take it out for a full review. They give you a box inside a box. Here's the charger. 3 amp charger. Nice. Kickstand. It looks like this whole thing just goes up like this. Snap it into place. And then the handlebars drop right on. And boom, that's almost it. Just tighten down these two right here. So first observations on this scooter. The handlebars are pretty tall, which is great for me because I'm 6'5", and these feel like the right height for me. I feel like they come up to a natural position for me. The charge port is on the right. Plug that in. Looks like some sort of lights on the side. Wonder if they're turn signals. Two springs on the back for full suspension. And here's what the deck looks like. It's all rubber. Black with a little A for Apollo. Here's what a size 14 shoe looks like on here. Hmm, what's this thing? Seatbelt? And up front, you get one spring. 500 watt motor up front, another 500 in the back. Thinking for 1000 watts total. 10 inch wheels with street friendly tread pattern. Looks like there's a light up front and a light on the back. And supposedly these tires have some sort of self healing technology built into them. If you run something over and get a flat, it'll patch itself up. Here's the manual. And they do give you these reflectors too. I don't know where they go. Check it out, this is how it works. Yep. Oh, this goes down here. And then this comes out. And then that goes like that, so you can carry it. 65 pounds. Kind of handy if you need to if you need to pick it up and go somewhere. Up here on the dash, so to speak, we get a rubber round grip. Feels pretty nice. Mechanical brakes with a thumb throttle on the right. Little rubber pad here. Power button. Not sure. Increase. And over on the left, we have a regen throttle. So progressive regen brake. Put a little juice back in the battery. Save brake pads. And a bell. Then you can toggle your modes. Left turn signal and right turn signal. So let's take a look at the display. Looks pretty clean. So let's power it up. Power up. <laughs> so let's power it up. Yeah. So let's power it up. There we go. Lights flashing back there. All right. So here's what the display looks like. Kilometers per hour out of the box. Shows you your battery here in terms of just five levels of bar. So light switch, toggle the modes. Oh, turn signal. Cool. Hey, it makes a blinker noise. So you know it's on, that's cool. And dude, this thing's like a car, man. Let's try the other one. Oh, wait. <laughs> For a second they were both on at the same time. Here's what the turn signal looks like. Tap it again to turn it off. Probably shouldn't have smashed the throttle yet. I'm gonna try this thing out. So it's got a brake light and a tail light. So it's got a brake light. Grab the brake lever, it lights up. Here's what the headlight looks like. It's not really that bright. You can see it shine on the wall there a little bit. So I guess it's in kickstart mode. First time you have to like roll forward and press the throttle at the same time. Like the wheels have to spin. So let's just try it. So I'm kickstart mode. Oh yeah. So you gotta be rolling. Check it out, let's give it a little wheel spin here and then press throttle. Oh yeah, that works. So this is the basic mode. Very gentle on the power. Only one motor's working. Now this is on the green mode. You have to give it a kickstart or it won't do anything. Throttle is fully pressed in. Oh yeah, a little more power there. Front wheel's still doing nothing. And now, now we're on the red mode. Okay. Only the back wheel's spinning though. Let's try this now. On the basic mode here. Oh yeah. So they individually have to be like, Rolling. I'm gonna crank it up to the next mode. Oh, yeah. Now we're on green mode and now for red mode. Oh, yeah All right, it's a pretty pretty quiet scooter and it's got the brake light Red mode and regen Oh, yeah, pretty fun little toy. Let's take it out for a ride So I can't figure out how to increase the top speed in the settings. So I'm gonna download this app 1.9 stars. Okay, I'm ready searching searching complete nice Checking motor, checking battery, checking brakes, getting a full service. What? You can check pressure? <laughs> okay, I think this is messing with me now. <laughs> That's hilarious. Flux capacitors are good to go. <laughs> what? Nitrous. Airbags. You can enter a pin. Okay. Nice. Hello. Hello. Ooh, I love that music. 
So you can change your modes on here, but most importantly, you can get in here and change your top speed. Oh, and your acceleration response time, regen, regen braking. That's cool. We'll try some of this stuff out. Cruise control activation time. So probably hold throttle six seconds. Turn off mode, two minutes. It's kind of annoying that it keeps turning off on me. Oh, speed limit mode, there we go. So 25, you can change it up to 60 in sport mode, kilometers an hour. Uh, we'll just leave it on 25 for now. We'll change it in a little bit. Oh, and you can uh, maybe change it for each mode. And you can turn off the kickstart thing. So right now you have to kind of kickstart. The wheel has to be moving to turn the throttle on, but you can turn that off. And a pretty important one for me, units of measurement. Switch that on over to Imperial miles per hour. Temperature Celsius, might as well do Fahrenheit. So it was in kilometers, now we're switched over to miles and um, you can increase the top speed up to 37. We'll see if it actually hits 37. Let's turn off kickstart and also crank it up. Speed them in sport mode, 37. Let's try it out. All right guys, let's take the Apollo City Pro out for a ride. Power this up. Start it on the eco mode. I got the top speed unlocked. Of course, we'll go ahead and start the Strava to see what kind of range we get. We're on a full battery. And we'll go ahead and test it out on the 20% hill grade. I'm gonna do it on the lowest power mode just to start. So I weigh 200 pounds, starting from a stop. We're gonna have to bump up the power. So it is dual motor, 500 watts for each motor. We're gonna try it on the green setting. It's like the medium power level. From a stop, oh, quite a bit more power. And this is bringing us right up to 20% grade already. Showing pretty much max output. Wow, all right. We got one more power setting to try though. Going down the hill, this thing has regen brake, strong regen brake. And now on the red mode, full power. Ready, go. Duck. Yeah, plenty, plenty, plenty of power. This thing's 10 miles an hour. Oh, we're limited to 13 again. I need to log into the app real quick. One more with uh, full speed unlocked. Full acceleration, full speed unlocked. Man, this thing's got torque. So I don't actually have a ton of experience on scooters, but right out of the gate, I feel comfortable riding this thing on the max settings. Like the thumb throttle, it delivers the power in like a commuter friendly way. I'm already going like 22 miles an hour according to this thing. So I can like, I feel comfortable just like gunning it on max settings, dual motors. It says I'm going 29, 30. Dang, so it feels like oh, we're cruise control now. All right, all right. In the regen brake, you can feel like uh, you press in the mechanical brake levers and it gives you regen brake activated. So even though this has drum brakes and not disc brakes, uh, you're really not gonna probably have to use the actual friction brakes much on this on this scooter because the regen brake is uh, pretty strong and you can use the regen brake with the progressive regen lever here. Oh yeah, that thing just brings it straight to a stop. So this thing's gonna be super low maintenance because drum brakes are lower maintenance compared to disc brakes. Regen brake, and it shows you, it gives you like little uh, bars there, basically the green, red, orange. So like red is like full power, orange for like regen. So the display, I can read very easily. And it's a full suspension. It's got a little bounce to it. It's definitely eating up like all the bumps and stuff around here. Swoop this thing around the neighborhood a bit today, man. It feels like good for a scooter. I like that the handlebar height on this scooter is higher. Like this feels good for me. I recently reviewed a scooter and the handlebar height just felt like kind of low. Like I was reaching down for it the whole time. This feels like a very nice like build quality. I like the width of like the grips. They're round as I feel like you know it should be for a scooter like this let's try the uh, acceleration on this thing i don't know if i fully believe this speedometer that i'm actually going 30 miles an hour right now oh no man i'm going kind of fast though and the the motors on this are very quiet there's basically no motor noise at all you're all into a strong headwind so it's a little annoying that cruise control automatically turns on after six seconds of holding down holding down the throttle so you can pull up the app it shows you your battery in, a, in terms of a percentage here so i'm at 91 percent so uh we'll mess with the acceleration response and regen response here in a few first let's take this cruise control activation and bump it more to like i don't know 15 or 17 seconds because I'm not really trying to put it on cruise control today. And what the heck, while we're in here, let's just crank the acceleration response up to max and regen brake up the max too. And now with everything on max, let's see how this feels. Uh, I don't know if it made a huge difference, honestly. I don't know, man. 
This thing's pretty fun though. So I mean, it has like good suspension. Like it feels like good to me anyway. And like a rubber uh, grip there, I guess it'd be called grip. <laughs> so check it out. I wear a size 14 shoe. Here's what my feet kind of look like on this scooter. Is that how you're supposed to stand on these things? So with a big foot size 14, I mean, I have room for my feet. I've also been on a scooter that has a little more room on the deck. Now this one might be, you know, a little more compact as like a commuter. And another thing that keeps this thing low maintenance is, you know, changing a flat, like an inner tube on one of these things would suck. So I guess it has like some automatic healing technology built into, into the tires on this. Does it work? I don't know. I haven't really ran over anything, but that's what they say. Let's try an acceleration test here. Ready, floor it. 10, 15. 20, 25, 30. Oh. <laughs> These scooters feel so sketchy sometimes, man. Oh yeah, 32, 33. Man, 33. We're gonna slow it down a bit here. We're about to pass cars. Pretty much, long story short, this is like a comfortable scooter to be on, man. Like going over all like these little bumps in the road, like normally when I'm riding like a lime scooter or a bird scooter, I freaking hate those things. Dude, I won't even ride them because they're such a harsh ride. I swear, man, I'm, I, I don't know, dude. They, they just, they're not my thing. This, I could see myself getting into something like this. Floor it a little bit more here, 30. So I'm 6'5", weigh 200 pounds. 30, I don't know if I'm actually going that fast though, is a thing. 32, I forgot my handlebar mount on my other bike, but let's just go ahead and do it like this for a bit. See how accurate the speedometer is. I don't do anything too crazy here. So saying, yeah, I guess maybe it is pretty accurate. Showing 20, 21, maybe not exactly accurate. All right, wide open throttle now, why not? What the heck? Oh wow, so I guess this thing is actually Pretty close. We are going 31 miles an hour on a scooter, boys and girls. This feels a little sketch, dude. <laughs> I don't think I'd really want to go much faster than this on a scooter. 30, all right. Let's slow it down. Let's take it off road. Before we do that, you know what? I've just been riding in max mode. Let's go ahead and put it on eco. Yeah, eco makes it like super, like like a baby could ride this, dude. It's going like nine miles an hour. You probably ride this thing like a hundred miles going this slow. So then put it on the green setting and it gives you a little bump in power up to, you know, 20. Showing the fuel efficiency here is um, in the green. But once you try that max mode, man, it's a little addicting. All right, let's whip this thing around. Bust the Yui. These little wheels are so nimble all right let's try it off road just a little bit over this bump yeah man that's fine dude the suspension makes all the difference on this scooter let's go through this trail maybe try a long steep hill in a bit Whew. feels totally fine dude this is a little bit rougher right here off road on the apollo city pro go through a little bit of sand okay it could actually power through this going uphill and these rocks Whew. <laughs> now we're having some fun out here man this thing's holding up pretty well the suspension is not bad at all going over like that stuff did not feel bad dude i'm actually impressed like if you try that on like a bird scooter or something like good luck why not get out here right through the fields a little bit try a bit of a hill climb up here I might have got off the ground a little bit there. So as I'm spending a little bit more time on this, I kind of wish there was like a little bit bigger platform for my big feet and shoes to kind of get a little bit more of a stance. I feel like I'm just starting to get like riding this a little more aggressive, like putting my foot back like this. I kind of wish it was like a little bit more ergonomic. That's fine, dude. Just saying it's pretty fun. <laughs> I'm like tempted to try and get some air. I probably shouldn't. I, I don't have that much experience on these things. So we're gonna try and go up this hill right up here off in the distance. Whipping! Woo! This is pretty fun. Dual motor, max modes. Let's try this long hill here. I'm not the best at handling this thing quite yet. Full throttle. I mean, it's pulling us up this hill very, very easily. I mean, it's going 17, 18 miles an hour. Like we're gaining speed. Dual 500 watt motors is plenty of torque, man. 18 miles an hour. I lot off there for a little bit, but man. So if you got hills in your area, don't even worry about it. Here's the hill we just climbed. We were just down there by the 
Google building. I see the Hollywood sign just barely off in the distance. I don't know if you guys can see it here on the GoPro. Beverly Hills, Santa Monica Mountains. So in the app, check it out. You can actually pull up like all of this like really detailed information. I like to see this sort of stuff. Uh, it'll actually show you like the, the motor temperature. Like motor temperature right here is 54 degrees. I'm assuming the Celsius. Oh, and the voltage of the battery too. It has it right there. So you can get a really accurate readout on how much battery life you have left if you really want to get in. So we'll see how much we burn through today. And like the current that you're outputting, you know, the amps, some really technical stuff basically. Oh, total mileage, current speed. I don't know why I'm saying power is 81 because we're sitting still. So I've got a lot of uh, faith in these brakes right now. I'm about to head down this hill. It is a regen brake here and mechanical brakes. But the regen brake is excellent. And that regen brake is going to make this thing like so low maintenance. You're never going to have to worry about changing brake pads probably ever on this thing. Like, look at this. This is a steep hill and like it just brings it to a complete stop. Is it going to recharge your battery? Generally, regen braking on personal electric vehicles doesn't really put a lot of extra juice back in. Maybe, you know, 5, 10 percent. But mostly, yeah, you're just saving yourself wasting brake pads. Very strong. I haven't even touched the actual mechanical brakes. I don't think I've used them really once since being out here. Wonderful feature. And it does have turn signals. I'll go ahead and put this blinker on. <laughs> Gives you a little deep, 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 deep. You hear it? It's a little strange that you have to kind of take your finger off the throttle to operate the turn signal. It'd kind of be cool if you could just like operate it like a motorcycle switch right here on the other side so you could still use the accelerator to change both turn signals. So left turn signal is on the left and they do have a new updated version of this handlebar coming out. So right now the only turn signal is like down here and over here too obviously and it does play that sound so you're not going to forget leaving your turn signal on. Looks like the upgraded handlebar kit is going to cost 199 USD. I wonder if it'll like burn out if I like floor it. Oh, a little bit. The front wheel. <laughs> that was a cute doggy. I can get through the sand and stuff, do a little bit of off-roading. I don't, you know, this isn't obviously like an off-roading scooter. It's fun, man. It feels stable going through that sand. Oh yeah, here we go. A little bit of off-roading. I like that you can have both hands on the on the grips and then use the regen brake with the throttle, the thumb throttle. Yeah, it's tearing right through that gravel. Ooh, oh shoot, I was pressing, I started pressing the brake instead of the throttle. I'm actually surprised at how good it feels riding off-road. Let's get back on the street where this thing belongs though. So we'll uh, whip it through the neighborhood just a bit more, see what kind of range we end up doing. This honestly feels like a scooter that's like, you know, pretty much anybody could just get on this thing, I feel like, and you're not going to be overwhelmed by the power. But at the same time, since it is dual motor, um, and they're pretty torquey motors, but the power delivery is like smooth. It's powerful, but also like approachable. It's fun, fun little toy, man. This, I could see this being something great for commuting around town, commute to work. The dual motors make this fun. Should we do the stairs? No, no. Just like pretty much any scooter, it does kind of have a little bit of that like speed wobbles feel, you know, just like, whoa. but it's really not like, it's not like bad, but you know, it, it, it exists. It doesn't have like a, a damper on the steering like some of the really fancy scooters have. So real quick, let's look at the final range on this thing. Battery showing four out of five bars. Voltage readout in the app is showing 48.7 volts. It is a 48 volt system. And I was riding for, I don't know, my Strava completely failed me for some reason today. I'd say that was probably about eight miles roughly. Oh yes, the trip does say seven miles. The official website says you can get up to 38 miles of range. According to a 48 volt lithium ion battery chart, 48.7 volts is about 61% remaining in the battery. So I'd say if I was whipping this thing around the way I was, you know, I'd probably get about 25 miles out of this battery. That's using, you know, dual motors and pretty much flooring it everywhere I went. So, you know, you, you could probably definitely crank out 38 miles out of this thing if you're not doing this. So final thoughts on the Apollo City Pro. It's a cool little city commuter. I had a blast on this thing. I don't know a ton about them, but if you're looking for a city commuter, I don't see why not this one. It's fun. Check the link below this video in the description box. If you grabbed one through that link, of course, it would support this channel and I would greatly appreciate your support. However, if this is not your cup of tea, you can watch this video next. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time. Let's give it one more zero to top speed acceleration. No push off or anything. Ready? Go full throttle. 10, 15, 20.